Last week I was recording drums uh, with a buddy of mine, and we spent some time on the bass drum, really getting the right bass drum sound. The right amount of muffling, how open, how muffled, you know, and the miking and all of that kind of stuff to capture the raw material that we needed to then process to get the finished sound that he had in his head. And so as we were working on that, he made the comment, man, drums just sound so different in the room than they do on playback. And he and I, of course, are both very aware of that, but I thought, you know, that's a really good point because less experienced, I guess, drummers who haven't recorded as much, they're surprised to hear what their drums sound like on playback, whether it's a good or bad experience listening back to them. Uh, and I particularly had one young fellow several years ago who um, he, he called me, his band was coming in to record some stuff, and he made the comment, yeah, I, you know, I'm real excited about this. I got new heads for my drums to get that studio sound. And my heart kind of sank and I went like, oh my, I hope he's not talking about Evans Hydraulics. Now, I mean to throw no shade on Evans Hydraulics. I have some hydraulics. They are a sound and I use them when I want that sound. But this was a general rock pop type band. Big um, ambient rock, you know, drum sounds. They weren't going for like a dead, funky 70s disco. They wanted like, you know, big ambient drums. Mm, hydraulics, not a good choice for that. A couple days passed and he did come in and sure enough, man, he had hydraulics on top of all of his toms. Um, I told him, I'm not sure these are gonna do what you want, but let's listen to them and see. And uh, sure enough, on playback, he, it was not the sound he wanted at all. And we wound up um, using some heads that I had, um, some single ply coated heads. And those gave him the sound that he wanted. So that was useful information for him. And I thought, you know, given John's comment the other day that it might be useful information for other people too, worth making a video, and actually trying to demonstrate what drums sound like in the room versus recorded. So what I'm about to show you um, is my attempt to reproduce the sound of the drums in the room. Now it's kind of weird in order to hear it on a video, I had to record it with microphones, so it's not really like standing there in the room, but I wanted to come as close as possible to it. So I set up a Jekyll and Disc setup using um, some Avenson STO2 microphones, and I'll link to those if you're curious uh, down below. They're just like the omnidirectional condensers, very low mass, tiny diaphragms. I have those set up 22 inches off to the side of the bass drum. It's just sort of like someone standing by the drums while they're being played. No processing of any kind on those. No EQ, no compression, no nothing. Just literally those mics. So that is my best attempt at just capturing the sound in the room. Then you'll also hear the sound of the drums on playback. And the balance and the settings are the balances that I used for the final mix, but with all the processing bypass. Is it ideal? I'm not totally sure, but you definitely get an idea of what the raw tracks sound like unhyped, not even necessarily attractive. And then I engage all the processing. So you get to hear what the finished sound is like, basically, as I intend it to sound when mixed. So it's gonna switch back and forth between the room sound, just standing there next to the drums, the raw sound coming back off the recording, and then the processed sound, so you get an idea of what the processing does to the sound. The thing about drum sounds that young engineers particularly don't fully understand, I think, is that when you stick a microphone on the drum, it is not like listening to the drum in the room. If you're wanting the drums in the room to sound like you want them to sound on playback, then they're absolutely not going to when you put microphones directly on them. Your, your ears are on the side of your head and your head is wherever it is relative to the drum set when you're standing in the room with the drums, whether you're sitting behind them playing them or whatever. So you set a pair of microphones there, that's your closest bet to, re to capturing what that vibe is. But it sounds nothing like microphones directly on the drums. If you put a directional microphone directly on a drum, you're gonna get the artificial proximity effect, the, the low end that happens with directional mics when placed close to a source. Um, as well as they're just right there on the drums themselves. Your ear's not right on the edge of a snare drum. It's also not on the edge of the snare drum at the top and also underneath at the same time. It's not inside the bass drum and out front at the same time. It's not over the top of the kit a few feet and it's not on each tom. So just by putting individual microphones on the components of the kit, you're gonna get an extremely different perspective on playback than what it is to stand there and listen to the drums in the room. So, um, that does seem obvious, yet I thought it might be helpful just to make a video that pointed that out and demonstrated that specifically. 
So I hope this is useful. If you like this kind of stuff, drums, recording drums, mixing drums, uh, building drums, tuning drums, playing drums, drum history, drums, 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 anything drum related, please like and subscribe to this channel and please share this with any like-minded folks that you might know. I think the drumming community is a big one. I love talking shop with people. So feel free also to make comments. I'm happy to respond to questions and would love ideas for future videos and anything that you care to share. I appreciate you watching this one. I hope it's useful. Enjoy.